A routine Tuesday at the bank turns deadly and traumatizing, and the Lee County Sheriff's Office says one man was behind it all. He came running in, and he's screaming, I have a bomb. I have a bomb. He started to put one of the hostages in like a, a headlock, and he had the knife to her throat. And the elevator doors open. Uh, I saw some negotiations between police and someone that I could not see, so quickly closed the door and went back up to my office. When he presented deadly force like that, our SWAT sniper shot and killed the suspect. Sterling Raymond Alavanche Aval is dead tonight. Witnesses say he ran into the Bank of America at Bell Tower, jumped over the teller counter while yelling that he had a bomb. He took two hostages and law enforcement tried negotiating with him for hours. Listen. Listen, just come out here, let me see your hands, and we'll work with you. We'll work with you. I know you're going through a lot, but this isn't going to make what you're going through any easier. The sheriff's office says Alavach just wouldn't give up and put a knife to the neck of a hostage, which led to his own life ending. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Amanda Hall. And I'm Russ McCaskey. We're glad you're with us. Tonight, Beach Taylor Wirtz joins us now live from outside the bank. Taylor, you spoke with people who saw this wild scene. Are they feeling shaken up tonight? Russ, they definitely are. Everyone I spoke with who was inside the Bank of America here at Bell Tower today said given the massive response from LCSO, they felt pretty safe the whole time. But now they know the full extent of what happened in there. It's a lot to process. Flashing lights, guns drawn, and deputies on every corner. This was the scene at the Bell Tower Bank of America late Tuesday morning. We had 100 cop cars here. They're all flooding at this point. The only thing I was told was that uh, a gentleman jumped over the teller counter and, uh, and there was some, some yelling going on. Chase Mayhew watched from the second floor as the sheriff's office tried to negotiate with 36-year-old Sterling Ramon Alavosh, who Sheriff Carmine Marcino says had multiple hostages. Listen, listen, just come out here, let me see your hands, and we'll work with you. We'll work with you. I know you're going through a lot, but this isn't going to make what you're going through any easier. We were face to face with a male suspect who was armed with a knife. He also claimed he had a bomb. Luke Kenzik says he noticed Alavash when entering the building earlier that day and sensed something was off. He was uh, kind of hanging out and kind of was crouched down on the phone talking loudly. Not, not really uncommon, but, um, you know, just made me look twice as I walked through. When he heard something had happened in the building, his mind went straight to Alavash. Yeah, I pretty much jumped right there that uh, that was most likely the, the individual. The sheriff says Alavash started to get physical with the hostages. He started to put one of the hostages in like a, a headlock and he had the knife to her throat. That's when an LCSO sniper pulled the trigger, killing Alavash. Dude, I think they shot him. While they're grateful no one else was hurt, those who were inside told me they're still trying to process what happened. We're all kind of still in the state of shock and it's just sad all the way around. Sheriff Carmine Marcino says the hostages and everyone else involved is safe tonight, but you can still see there's a large uh, presence in yellow tape around the building because he says the whole thing is under investigation. And the people I spoke to who work at this bank said it could be a day or two before they're allowed back in. On the night beat, Taylor Wirtz, Wink News.